Hi everybody and welcome to another live from Perilee Craft Gin. We are so glad to have been asked to contribute this time to Lockdown Fest 2.0 in association with the Catrum and District Independent Team. Tonight I'm going to make a quick cocktail, I'm only going to do one this time around and I've come inside because it's absolutely chucking it down. I know you guys are seeing this on your YouTube channel so it might be lovely and sunny by the time you see this. But I'm going to share a cocktail with you that we love using one of our fabulous gins. But first a little bit about us. So Perily Craft Gin have only been going for about 18 months now and we are Coulston based so we're really close by. We have got a range of five gins that we call our English Country Garden Collection that feature some really beautiful subtle flavours such as rose, lavender and rhubarb. We also have two special editions, one of which we're using tonight, that are really seasonal. So the first one is a Solstice Mead gin which we only produce during the summer. So that's not our Solstice Mead gin for tonight. And the second one is this fabulous little baby called Winter Spiced Gin. Now, I know we're due for a little bit of Beast from the East action this weekend, so this could be a fantastic little number for you to jump on with. So, this brilliant gin makes a perfect warm drink when combined with cloudy apple juice, but it also makes a really nice French 75. I'm going to do a little twist on a French 75 for you, and I'm actually going to add it with, I'm going to replace the sugar syrup with extra alcohol. Shh. Um, so I'm going to make it with amaretto this evening. So I'm going to get started on my French 75, and I'm going to start off with my mixer. Ta -da! I do love this, but I do end up throwing it everywhere. So if you see this going flying all over our living room, you get to laugh, we get to clear up. The first thing I'm going to do is add about 30 mils in here of lemon juice. I've just freshly squoezed. In it goes. I need a little bit behind it. Um, I quite like mine a bit bitter, so I'm going to add a little bit extra. So that's just freshly squeezed lemon juice. If you've got a bottle of Jif in the cupboard because we're coming up to pancake day, that's just perfect too. The next thing I'm going to add is a small measure. Um, my husband often says he's the master distiller of the house. There's no such thing as a small measure. This time there is because this is quite a potent spirit. A small measure of amaretto. Now I'm just using a bog standard bottle of amaretto from the supermarket. It doesn't have to be a fancy brand at all. That little tap out. It's quite an oily fella, so give him a little shake and leave back on because I know I'll throw it everywhere otherwise. Next thing we're going to add is a large measure and this is a large merit measure of Perilly Craft Gin's Winter Spiced Gin. Now pop it in. It's a little bit tempting to free pour if I'm brutally honest with you but in it goes. It's quite odd doing this sitting down. Refreshing. And in that goes too. Now those are all our main ingredients and we're going to give those a shake with some ice. So in goes the ice. She's going to try not to splash. Oh no. It's not in there. It's in this one. What a wally. It's been a long day. In that goes, and then on this goes, honest to goodness, lockdown's making me crazy. Now, whenever I do one of these videos, you often see me shaking this over my shoulder. I'm not trying to channel my 1980s cocktail Tom Cruise, or, I, or pretend like I'm a fabulous West End barista mixologist. It is literally so, one, I don't smack myself in the face, and two, if your lid comes loose, it goes behind you and not all over you. Sorry about the noise, gang. Sorry, Al from the Catrum Independent. I know that the sound always goes wonky when I start mixing. Now, that went nice and frosty on the outside, so it's ready for me. I'm gonna get my strainer for any little bits of lemon that might have escaped and bring in a martini glass. Because this is quite alcoholic, it's a short drink, so in it goes. Looking nice and chilled there. And I'm going to stop it. Oh, it's perfectly measured. Beautiful. Just there. You hear the ice popping down. And then with the French 75, you just top up with a little bit of fizzy wine. So up to you, depending on how dry you like it. That could be a Cava, a Prosecco or a Champagne. Fancy. And then today I am just going to go. I made an extra special twist for you today. I've made this little garnish from lemon peel because that's perfect for this cocktail. In my face it goes. Now for me, it's Friday night, so this is perfect. But for you, it'll be a Saturday treat. So, a lovely nutty twist on a French 75. 
oh and that is really nice it's got a spicy nutty flavor to it and it's just cut through with the lemon juice and it's really really lovely the fizz makes it a little extra special if you're trying to cut down the alcohol units you could use a sparkling water if you're trying to cut down the alcohol units but you don't have to that would obviously take a little bit away some of the sparkling special from it so that is my cocktail from Perilly Craft Gin. I hope you are all keeping well, staying safe, and avoiding this horrible weather we're currently experiencing. Cheers to everybody at the Cachemann District Independent Team. Thank you again for including us. You're doing fantastic work of keeping our community together during really tough times. Cheers, everyone.